Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. So a few millennia ago, I did a deep dive into my Nicki Minaj memes vault and you all seem to enjoy that. So I thought I might do another one. So let me explain. Let me explain why you probably never see me. I push a Lamborghini to imagine like a genie. As I explained in the Nicki video, my memes folder is kind of like a tree structure. It's the memes folder per se, capital M. Then we have Nicki and then we have a bunch of TV, reality TV ones, and that's what we're going to be discussing today. So Tiffany Pollard, Gemma Collins, some Dance Moms, some Real Housewives, different sets, Love and Hip Hop, Weakest Link, Super Nanny, like it's just all there. Obviously, I can't go through every single meme in this like several gigabyte folder because we'll be here for years. So I'm just kind of cherry picking them. And keep in mind, I have done full videos on Gemma Collins and Tiffany Pollard. So I've missed out a lot of their major ones, the most famous memes. So if you want to watch those, go and check out my Gemma Collins video or my Flavor of Love video because a lot of Tiffany Pollard's iconic moments come from Flavor of Love. Same thing with Dance Moms and the Kardashians. So I did videos on those each. However, both of those have been copyright blocked in something like 200 countries. So if you're one of the, I don't know, 70 countries or whatever that it isn't blocked in, congratulations to you. Love that for you. Everyone else, hello, VPN. Chill vibes. I just want to do show and tell, just showing you the memes. You'll watch the memes, you'll enjoy the memes. We'll comment about the memes. It's not like a, edited video so if that's what you came for just chill out and come back next week this one's just like chill vibes show and tell year three let's start with Gemma Collins Gemma Collins invented the British accent as we know that's just factually how it works we'll start with the Gemma Collins Sarah Powell interview I use this all the time in videos because these two specific sections can be used for so many things when I'd got in there I realized that actually this is serious Stuff. Do you see what I mean? You can kind of use that in any situation. Uh, on that listen, that kind of gave me the vibes of me thinking about 2020 in 2019, if I knew what 2020 had in store. And when I got there, I just felt, nah, this is not for me. Me when my friends start talking about sport. These next two are honorary falling memes. I've mentioned both of these on my channel before. The purpose of this video is to show you the memes that I use as audio clips all the time, or if I just randomly chuck them into videos, this is where they come from. So this first one, I think, is the BBC Teen Awards or something like that. The winner of the Radio 1 Teen Award for Best TV Show is... Love Island! And this next one is from Dancing on Ice. So we go memes, reality TV memes, Gemma Collins memes, Gemma Collins Big Brother memes. And then we have these in there. And I've spoken about these at length. So I'm not gonna go into detail, but I'm just gonna say my favorites at the moment are Gemma thinks she has seen a ghost. Gemma thinks she has seen a ghost. I've just seen that really fucking scary in the mirror. Nah, no, fuck this, I'm out of here. Get that fire exit door, I'm off. I've seen this one pop up on TikTok recently. And I feel like it's only going to continue. Oh, I've just seen something real fucking scary in the mirror. And then, of course, the Gemma Anti Games saga. I've had enough of playing games. It's like having a job working 24 7 for two days on the trot. And in my Gemma Collins video, I mentioned this particular clip. I Don't hate playing games, it's shit. However, I said that she says pancakes. I hate pancakes, they're shit. I hate playing games, they're shit. But now upon reflection, I think it's I hate playing games, they're shit, but I still choose to think it's pancakes. And then of course we have claustrophobic Darren. I'm claustrophobic Darren! No. No! And these producers. These producers are fucking idiots. Honey, I'm not doing it, sorry. I can't do it. I'm really sorry, everyone. So those are kind of the base level Gemma Collins memes, which you would know about. Um, I'm giving you three relatively new ones now. I'm not getting involved. I'm here to enjoy myself, GC style. Do you know what I mean? I just want to be me. That's another one that I've seen going around TikTok recently. I would say a good caption for that would be Jimbo Charlie when Jefferson and Shania had their little troubles earlier this year. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. Hello, boys can't touch or hug, but just keep washing the hands and keep going, you know? Corona. She really is hard up for attention, isn't she? If you're hard up for the electric, I'll pay you for it. Anything for attention, the silly cow. Isn't silly cow a cheese? Also, brand new, hot off the press, this boat one from TikTok. So sorry, I'm about to crash into your boat. I'm apologizing now. 
Sorry, mate. The film crew will pay the damage. I think it's time to jump from one outrageously iconic reality TV icon to another. And this is Tiffany Pollard. And I'm going to take the opportunity to say Tiffany and or Gemma, if you would like to come on my podcast, it's an open invitation. If you somehow watch this video, hello and welcome. So let us begin our Tiffany Pollard highlights reel. We'll start with ganging up against me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now everybody's ganging up against me. For what? What the fuck did I do? Me at the family function when I said that I didn't like Ed Sheeran. As I said before, I did a Flavor of Love video, but let's give a couple of key examples. First we have sat there and ate your food. You should have just sat there and ate Why? your food because you need to shut the fuck up. And a personal favorite right now is Y'all smell that shit? This breath stinks check, too. Check I this smell out. the shit all in my hair. Check this out. Check this out. Listen, listen, listen. Oh listen. my goodness. Listen. You smell that shit? Her like breath it. smelled like straight up shit. It smelled like a toilet full of nasty ass shit, okay? And of course, this clip, which will be used by students in 2077 to understand the psychology of early 2000s reality TV. So I wanted to see her, um, her anger level. I wanted to see if I was powerful enough to twist her mind. So I wanted to see her um, her anger level. I wanted to see if I was powerful enough to twist her mind. And this is me on Netflix after I paused the movie to take a sip of water. I've decided that I would like to press play now, continue watching the movie. My ass been on pause, but I'm finna press play in a motherfucking millisecond. The next subsection, subfolder, sub, 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 subsection of the Tiffany Pollard memes folder in the memes folder in reality TV memes in the memes folder is Celebrity Big Brother 17. Of course, we have the David's Dead scene, which I've talked about 700 trillion times, and I will talk about it again. David's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> what did oh, I do? You told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there asleep. I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. This next one, I don't think you could find five consecutive videos on my channel in which I did not use this sound clip. Oh my gosh, Sweetheart. Angie, can't you just be real for five seconds? First um, of all, you've been running I'm around like you did 80 lines of Coke. Me if I worked at the Coca-Cola facility after the manufacturing machine packaged 80 lines of Coke. So to round out the Tiffany Pollard CBB scenes, I had to include something Gillian McKeith related. The options were between uh, the shit scene and the smoking scene, so enjoy this one from the smoking scene. Well, I'm gonna run out of cigarettes. You I'm just, not gonna smoke anymore. You swear. You I'm, swear. We don't want any swearing. It would have to be a promise. A prom. And when you prom, what's prom? Half a promise. The next subcategory, the nominees for. Next, we have drag race memes. There are honestly hours of meme compilations of drag race. If you type in drag race meme compilation, there's just every single season has them. So I've kind of just cherry picked the ones that I'm using in edits at the moment and ones that I enjoy watching on repeat into oblivion. First off, we have this iconic scene between Trinity K. Bonet and Bianca Del Rio. Let me ask you a very fair question. What do you do successfully? Quickly. I heard a rumor that Trinity K. Bonet is on the next season of All Stars. Can you confirm or deny I'm RuPaul? I know you're watching. Did you see that article from Instinct Magazine? Oh, the fracking? No, no, not that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a little crossover event from the Nikki folder, X Drag Race folder. We have Nikki on Drag Race season 12. I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup today. But is it fashion? It's fashion? Is it fa <laughs> Wait, but is it fashion? Here we have two very classic Laganja Estranja memes. Yeah, I feel very attacked. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Season six, let's get sick me. Yeah. I think now would be a good time to introduce a Trixie meme that stays in my head for 23 out of 24 hours of the day, and that is her impression of Laganja. Dear diary, yeah. it's me, Laganja. Today, all the girls sat separate from me and I lived alone under a table. On the subject of Trixie, we've got two more. We have, turns out it's depression. As soon as I stepped off the plane here, the air hit my eyes and it would, my eyes would not stop watering. I was like, oh my God, wait. So I went to the doctor here. I thought it was gonna be allergies. Plot twist, it was not allergies. Turns out, depression. And this one, which is my personal favorite at the moment. Why don't you eat a cheese it Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's that, sorry? Yeah, I completely agree. It's time for Alyssa Edwards memes. Use this in my most recent video, or maybe the one before. Mama, this is garbage. Oh. Right here. If y'all send me home, it was rigged. <laughs> Rigor Morris, girl. It was Rigor Morris, girl. Mor Who's Morris? And of course, this absolute serve of the century in the meme reaction department. Like this, 
oh, like <clears throat> her mind. She just sat in that chair and she thought, I'm gonna make a classic reaction right now. And she went and did that and that's history. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Walking down Strata Mile 7 Engine City style. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Season 12 alum Jan Sport, who went by Jan on the show because copyright would not allow her to say that she was called Jan Sport, I don't think. Anyway, this is from her Instagram live. Not this. There's just so many here, but I don't want to not put them in, so we're going to do a speed run. Derek Berry, your tone seems very pointed right now. Your tone seems very pointed right now. Alyssa Edwards, well. Well. Jade Thurwell from Lil Mix. Lil Mix? Little Mix. Hello, where did the tea go? On Drag Race UK, that's so upsetting. That's so upsetting. Jasmine Masters has literally so many iconic ones. This is a personal favorite at the moment. No, ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Let's jump into some Real Housewives of Melbourne memes. This has a separate folder. Again, picking highlights that weren't in my Real Housewives of Melbourne video. I'm asking you a question, you dumb fat bitch. Me waking up early for work on October 1st and looking in the mirror and asking, is this really what I want to be doing? I'm not going to hang out with Sally. She can go fuck herself, but I do feel sorry for her because I know she's grieving at the moment. He's shutting the lunchbox. No context. Delightful. Time for some miscellaneous. Uh, this one here is from America's Next Top Model and it was me October 1st. I don't know, I just don't think this is like great for me. I don't want to do it. I want to go home. Like I can't take the pressure of it. But don't you think any job interview- The I am disgusted scene, this one right here is a gold mine of meme reaction content. There's I think three of this one scene. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I am disgusted. You better talk to her before I do because I'm already a feeling. Here are two from Love and Hip Hop. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. And this next one is me when I saw that Megan had released a single called B-I-T-C-H. She is a bitch. B-I-C-T-H. In that order. Hmm. I don't think talk shows constitute reality TV, so I didn't include them. But if I was going to, it would be lots of Wendy, the scene from The View with the lasagna, and then the You Are Beyonce Thank You. Next for Dance Mums, as I said, we're not gonna be going too in detail with Dance Mums. Uh, I always use the She's Zoom In Dude audio, and it occurred to me that some people don't know that's from Dance Mums. Put your phone away. You preach theater etiquette, put it away. I think I'm gonna go to Baskin Robbins. She's zooming, dude. Dance moms. Then we have this conversation between Abby and Kathy, which gives us two fantastic comebacks. Oh, stop. Who wants to hear your mouth? You're finished. You're washed up. You're oh, old. You're nothing. And then this clip, I don't know how it slipped through the net when I did my essential viewing dance moms. I think it was because there was so many scenes, but this one is so iconic. The monstrosity of evil. But your mouth is ugly, woman. You are a monstrosity of evil. You want to talk about ugliness. You are a monstrosity of evil. And you want to talk about ugly. Also in the miscellaneous category, we have the Ryan Seacrest high five. Yes, you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high five. Three Miss Juicy Baby means you definitely would have seen these around Twitter. What the hell are we going to do now? Um, what's up with that? Okay. One weakest link meme. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. And from my most recent reality rewind video, you guys are in a crisis, I'm on my way. You guys are in a crisis, I'm on my way. So to summarize, you can see that most of my humor comes from reality TV, as does most of the memes that you see on the internet. History lesson, culture, society. We live in a society. That is pretty much it for the memes folder. Of course I have random like, a, like a shitload of SpongeBob memes, but I don't know if anyone wants a SpongeBob memes folder video, at least not now, maybe later on when I have more of different kinds of cartoons or whatever. I loved show and tell in primary school and I still love show and tell. So I very much enjoyed this video. If you also enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, you to make sure that subscribe button. Um, I stream on Twitch now every few days. I play Crash Bandicoot and then I'll be playing new games from the PS5. So go and check that out. I know for a fact that I would have missed stuff because there's decades of TV. I can't put every single meme into this video. So if you have a favorite 
that you think would be right at home in my memes folder then let me know or even link me so I can put it in the folder. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all soon. Peace out and bye. It's Chris, let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>